Hi, this is Ed from Exotic Blanks. Tonight we're going to turn one of the PowerShell blanks. Uh, it's currently 60, about 58 degrees in here, but this has been sitting in the warm uh, office all day, so I think we'll have no problem with it. Uh, remember that acrylics and resins can become very brittle when they become cold. So we're going to do a quick turn here and make a Sierra pen. If you leave your, um, as you can see, I have the two turn between center um, bushings. If you leave this tailstock a little loose, then if you do run into any, if you do run into any difficulties while turning, it will actually stop the blank instead of chipping it out. Again, you see it stop when I put too much pressure on it. Tighten the tail stock and it will turn more readily, rotate. Now, if you're watching this, you probably watched others of my videos, so you know this already, but when I uh, start a pen, I don't face it. Instead, I wait until about this phase and then face it. You can see when you look at this, the blank is about a sixteenth of an inch in on both ends. So it's just a matter of um, facing it down to the power shell. And I do that by putting it aside turn the speed way down I lock the tailstock in place so that this stays at 90 degrees to the to the spinning disc I can feel it hitting the uh, brass, I believe. Well, perhaps not. Now it hit the brass. Same thing to the other end. Okay, that's all there is to it. It's now faced, and we go back to the final turning. <laughs> 
Looks good. Spins true. Whoa. That bushing has a whole bunch of CA on it. Later, I will soak that in acetone and it will be fine. But right now, we'll just put a different bushing on that end. Okay, now we do the final turning of this blank. That skew was getting pretty dull. So we're gonna change to a new sharp school, sharp tool. We should identify that noise that we heard in the middle. That was scraping, and there should be a couple of chatter marks on my blank. Um, generally, that's not something, you know, we did, that happens when you allow your blank or your tool to chatter to vibrate. I realize I make this look easy with my skew. One thing you should know is that recently I've tried the negative rate carbide tools. It is a tool that is much easier to control than a skew. So if you have difficulty trying to turn these blanks or any blanks that are plastic with a skew, you should try the negative rake carbide tip tools, uh, the ones we handle are from Easy Wood Tools. They really do make it a lot easier to turn this stuff if you're in a novice or if you're just having trouble with this type of turning. So, give it a try. And that's it, I believe. I think that's a nice profile. Turn the speed down a whole lot. And start sanding. This first grid is 400. And as you can see, I try to get the white sanding dust to be even across the blank. The first grit, whatever you use, is your opportunity to make this thing without peaks and valleys. <clears throat> as long as that white is uniform, you don't have peaks or valleys on your on your blank. This is 600 grit. As you may notice, this one's about an inch wide and the 400 was about an inch and a half wide. It's a kind of a system I've devised to keep track of what I'm doing. And if they all fall, I don't have to try to figure out which one's which. The smaller ones are the 600 and the larger, wider ones are the 400. This is 1,000, which is obviously identifiable because it's white as opposed to the... Okay, that's what we're gonna get here. Now, if you don't have a buffing system, you would continue to use some kind of polish. I used to use Novus 1 and Novus 2. Uh, I'm sorry, Novus 2, 2 and Novus 3. Um, I found that was very successful, but buffing is better. So I will go over to the buffer and I'll be back. Now it's been buffed with Tripoli and White Diamond. And as you can see, it looks pretty spectacular. So we'll go make a pen out of it. 